Hello, welcome back to A Keeper of the Prophecies. We've just returned from the weird alien space dimension where a disembodied pair of eyes was uh, telling us that the antidote to our poison lies in reversing the order, whatever that means. So we escaped a lot of uh, System Shock 2 enemies and I hope we're going to be back in the normal Thief world now because uh, it's time for a change of pace from running from monsters. Let's see. The other side of time. The Guardian must have known why it sent you here. Discover why this night is special. Once you know what to do, leave the area. Continues in the next mission. You need all the friends you can get. Do not kill anyone in the area. Alright. Let's do this. We're on the other side of time. is now the end of the beginning and perhaps the beginning of the end for the guardian of the ages has commanded you to seek your destiny on this side of time Yet first, you must see where he is sending you. And why he is sending you here. Looks like the Guardian sent me back to the Cathedral. Now what? Phew. Ugh. It's actually hot in here. Since when do these hammerites bother to heat this place? Alright, uh, let's make a hard save at the start. We're on the other side of time, it's... Thundery. Clearly not the same snowy night that we were out here before. Hmm. The last time I was here there was ice on that river. It takes a lot of rain to melt that much ice. Whoa! Whoa! No, let's not let's not do that start. That's uh I ran into a pipe I didn't see. Alright, Garrett, make a comment about the river again. Hmm. The last time I was here, there was ice on that river. It takes a lot of rain to melt that much ice. Right, I should be able to climb up that pipe. So I've been sent back to the cathedral, but it's a different time, and I don't know why. I'm guessing it's uh, because the portal's still there, undestroyed. I'm guessing this is much earlier, before the other night when we were here. And it's got something to do with, I guess, what Garrus is up to. Right, let's look in here again before... Can I use this lift? I can... Yeah, I can still get out that way, I think. Can I get out here? Yeah. Marceros, the full potions. Well, the good news is, I mostly know my way around the cathedral, and... 
it's hopefully not crawling with the mechanists and hammerites as much anymore. I guess it should still be hammerites. I wasn't seeing rain out here. I can hear it. Let me just check if I've got weather effects turned on. Yeah. Alright. Is there still loot on these ledges? There is still loot on these ledges. I'll take that. That means I've got five gas arrows now. Did I keep my equipment from. No, I didn't. What do I have? 25 broadheads, three waters, two fires, five moss. Five gas, two rope arrows. And here, two speed potions, two slow fall, two invisibility, three healing potions. I'll just take one right away, I think. <laughs> two mines, four gas mines, and of course, Judy, who's going on this adventure with us. Log picks, four flares. We still have the watch, it tells us it is now quarter past eight. Can't tell if it's going or not. Or if the time is still stopped. Oh, I'll take that too. Right, let's go back inside. I think I want to start by climbing up that pipe and getting up to the top level of this place. But just before I do so, I'm going to go up this far elevator. I should be able to see where I'm going, right? Or, actually, no, I should check out the labs first. Karis is not happy. He's still here, so... This is definitely before uh, we... Definitely before we... Uh, the events of the other night. I wonder what'll happen if he sees me. Karis? Hello? Hello? Can you see me? See you. No, oh, he's just ignoring me. All right. I can't get at the switch. Not that I need to. Right. Uh, so I'm gonna get up the pipe first. Let's go up here. Take a look. See. See if there's any guards out here. This rooftop, it looks actually pretty quiet. Alright. And I'm also going to make a quick run to Cavador's lab to see what Cavador's up to. Passageway exist before? Did I find it before? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, hello. Is this. Are they about to speak a sermon? Should I be down there and listening? Oh. Not like that. This is unintentional. The builder's truth it is. That men without belief do soften and fail as rotten wood. 
the builder places thy challenges before thee as a stairway of hewn stone up the tower of thine life. When thou seekest to add to those challenges, to compass thine pride, thou dost clutter the design of the stairway and introduce cracks and weaknesses. <coughs> Nay, our walls be cut from the thickest stones, our gates be wrought from full iron. Any who pits his strength against their strength shall smash himself with his own effort, even as the fruit falling from a tree dashes itself on a rock below. A foe is best contested in the light, not the shadows. Allow none to so disguise themselves before thee, lest thou slip into the shadows thyself, and so be lost. And ever so the chisel cannot know the will of the hand it serves, nor should it judge whether the mark it makes be for well or ill. Tis enough for a tool to be sharp and well crafted. Only so canst it serve the builder. <coughs> Maybe I should have left there a sermon happening. <laughs> And they wouldn't all be wandering all over the uh, place. Never mind. I can deal with a few people. I'm not supposed to kill any, but uh, they should be easier to knock out. There won't be any mechanists with their damn impossible helmets. So I should be able to make good use of my blackjack if I encounter any foes here. Alright, Cavador's lab. I guess we'll check the ledges outside Cavador's as well, and possibly there's a way to climb up there, and I'll just climb up that way. Also, there's another chapel here, isn't that? Is there not? I wonder if there's another sermon going on. Oh, there are perhaps some people talking. Let's see if we can hear what they have to say. Looks like Lady Alicia is still alive. Oh. Better not let her see me now, or I'll have a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> Although we agreed to send this marvelous device with you, Lady Alicia, you must understand that my master is quite displeased, for he wishes to discuss a proposal with Mr. Garrett. Yet Garrett continues to refuse our invitations. Yes, so I do understand your master's anxieties, Brother Cavador. But you must consider how Garrett has become quite depressed in recent days. So it is my hope that this new eye will improve his mood every bit as much as it improves his vision. Then the scroll I have given you must serve as my personal message. You are most kind, dear Cavador. Ah, so this is the night Alicia picked up my new eye. Hmm. I wonder if Counselor Frantitius is working late tonight. Because if he's no longer alive to poison me, yes, that should do the trick. Discover why this night is special. Well, we did it. Blimey, the Oracle sent you back into the past. This means there's another Garrett wandering around this world. Let's not screw up history any worse by letting Alicia see you tonight. This is already a dicey time travel situation. Alicia must not be harmed in any way. Before you travelled back in time, Counselor Frantitius tried to kill you. And since you might remember that Frantitius killed Alicia tonight, it might also come in handy to see where they meet tonight. Follow Alicia out of the cathedral area. Continues in the next mission. Okay, does that mean I fail if I don't follow her? Because I'm not going to be very happy about that. If so, I like, I like my time to explore and collect loot, such as the loot there on the table. So I'm going to try a little bit of loot collection here. Can I read the book? What follows is the courageous summon of Philuxus, vicar of the cathedral, written herein as he spake these words on the thirteenth day under the Al moon, in the fourth year under our great king, Forsythius the Just. To be distributed in this printed form to all practicing Hammerites and other followers of the Builder by blessing and commandment of Enzelon, High Priest of the Order of the Hammer. The Sermon of Philuxus. 
My brothers and sisters, mothers and daughters, fathers and sons. In recent days we have been instructed by representatives of Sir Pavlov Storm, Viceroy of the King, to rid our streets of all abandoned and lost children. In appearance our town is needful of cleansing, we are told, and this cleansing will soon begin through the disappearance and slaughter of those who now cower upon unclean knees to beg with trembling small hands for unclean food at our polished feet. In this quest for cleanliness, the term feral child has been raised to describe such unwanted orphans. But it is the opinion of this order that only roaming cats and stray dogs may be considered truly feral, and that children are always children, whether orphaned in ill-conceived wars or simply abandoned by those parents no longer able to provide the most basic necessities of life. As followers of the Builder, we cannot and we will not stand aside as children are hauled away like mere refuse by those most rich in gold but most poor in common decency. And so I say unto thee, it is the admonition of this humble priest that we will seek out any and all lost children of the streets to reunite each with parents such as they may have, and see to it that shelter is found and that food is provided daily and that clothing better than mere rags lies upon their backs. And of those bounty hunters found to be seeking such children for the pittance of a quick reward, these we will drag away forthwith to proper correction and the straightening of their souls. But that is not all. For there are children who are truly orphaned with no parents whatsoever. What of them? To what parent shall they return when none exists? There is only one just and proper answer, and I do not offer this lightly or without careful thought. For in the name of the Builder himself, this is what we must do. We will welcome these children into our own homes, and to these we will provide a warm bed and a seat at our table, and these we will raise as our own daughters and sons with full rights and titles such as we can provide. This will not be a painless task. There will be burdens to bear, and we will make enemies of those willing to support the evil which stands against us. But it is a price worthy of our own gold and sweat and even blood. Although this cathedral will one day fall into ruins and its memory lie buried unseen for eons, the righteous actions of those who stood in protection of those weakest among us will never be forgotten. As it is written, To those who seek out the lost and comfort the terrified and protect the innocent, such are to be most rewarded in the forever land of the Builder on the other side of time. Well, I didn't you know the uh, Hammers actually believed in doing good. As much as just the appearance of such... Right, to Camador's lab. Let's hope I'm not screwed up the mission by uh, not following Alicia right away. If I am, well, then I guess I'm going to have to reload. <coughs> oh, what? Am I still poisoned? Very happy about that, if so. So, Cavador hasn't come back to his lab yet. Which means I can explore it. He's got some loot, another healing potion, and today's tasks the fifth hour, rise, wash, and breakfast. The sixth hour, prayer and writing of sacred poems. The eighth hour, tent garden. The eleventh hour, meet the messenger of Lady Alicia. Well, that's an exciting office he has. Alright, do I want to go back on the roof? Well, I mean, my objective is just to follow her out, right? Continue to the next mission. So, I guess by f if I do follow her out, that will end the mission. So, maybe I want to put that off until I've explored and looted this place quite thoroughly. I don't know. If I suddenly get a mission failed, I guess I'll find out. Let's see if I get to the roof. Ooh. Invisibility, healing. Both handy. So given all these healing potions, I think the answer is yes. There is still a time limit. Which annoys me somewhat. But I guess I don't have to dawdle, right? I can...
go and find Lady Alicia as soon as I want. And follow her out. Assuming I can actually find her. Or rather, I can recognize her among all the others. Because I think she was wearing blue, I wasn't really paying attention. And there were, were a bunch of other people dressed as like civilians in that first sermon who were now wandering the halls. Such as these, for example. One of them's just gone into that chapel. And that reminds me, that chapel had some gold candlesticks I did not steal. That is an error to be rectified. about to save myself. She should just be able to make that drop, right? Did you not see me? What's my new objective? Uh, Alicia has left the cathedral area. Get out now before you lose contact with her completely. Alright, alright. Let's just run out then. Damn it. I don't like timed objectives. Maybe I can come back and steal all the... I don't know. Down all the stairs. Out. To the main area. Ah, this is the wrong way. Don't mind me, guys. Uh, where's that speed potion I picked up? Speed potion. Yay! <laughs> Ah, mission failed. Bollocks. <sighs> All right. Where was this hard save? Um. Right, that's, we've just had a little conversation with Lady Alicia. Let's go back to this one. I don't want to have that forced uh, thing happen. Did I pick up that gas error already? <coughs> no, I did not pick up the gas error. Hmm. The last time I was here, there was ice on that river. It takes a lot of rain to melt that much ice. So, if I want to explore, I have to explore before going to the chapel near Cavador. It's the chapel on the south side. Oh. Oh, I guess I was on the other ledge. Okay. That's fine. Do I have a healing potion? So I'm clearly still poisoned. Go listen to uh, Karis's one mumblings again, but uh, yeah, yeah. Do your complaints. Healing potion. <laughs> This is the one that takes me to the roof. Right, this is the one with the gas arrows. Yep. I thought they got rid of that lunatic. Karis, unfortunately not yet. Okay, so we're going back in time to uh so that our parents have a chance to meet and we can invent rock and roll. Or rather, so we can save Lady Alicia from getting killed and we can prevent Frantitius from killing us as well. Right, so as long as I stay away from the other chapel, in fact, if I stay away from both chapels, I'm a little safer, right? There's a bunch of people wandering around, or that would be wandering around. 
Let's go up this. Let's go up this pipe. I'm not even sure if it was here on the last mission. <laughs> this will give us. Oh, they've not put these fences up yet. So we have an easy way back down to that passage. For all that's worth. Oh, there's probably not much loot to be honest. Um, Alright, it goes back down to Karis's lab. This one goes down to Cavador's lab. I should, I should go back up there and see what's up there, but let's check this rooftop area first. Yeah, I bet there's no one in here either. Nope. Oh, I don't think I've ever discovered these before. Oh, that's probably fenced off before, yeah. Alright, let's go up there. Come on, get up, get up, Garrett. Yeah, I know, it takes a little while to get used to not having uh, the ability to jump for miles in normal gravity again. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's buggy again. That's it. This is the only mission I've ever uh, encountered such a bug on. So. Come on, have some good loot up here. Yay, another healing potion. Oh, lots of stuff. Dice cards, valuable cards. Water and rip arrows, and moss arrows, and invisibility and slow ball potions, and gas arrows. Well, that was definitely worth coming up here for. Ooh, lightning. Nice. Like, very good lightning effect. Don't believe there was a lightning effect in uh, Thief 2, was there? Must be done custom. Okay. Probably down this way. Oops. Well. We'll get a card. We shouldn't get too complacent. Let's come back out again. Alright, this takes us to the North Tower. Now I well remember this. Still have this trapdoor. I want to do something this time that I didn't do last time. That I wonder if it's still possible. What's this? A rope arrow. Just what I need. All right. So if I stick a rope arrow in that beam, it's too high for me to reach from here. Uh, if I stick a repair in that wall, that's too high to reach. Let's stick one in this wall as well. Probably should have saved before putting all those in there because I'm not getting them back. Oh well. Nope. Ow. Definitely should have saved if I'm going to do all that. All right. You just jump from one to the next to the next. And even then. Actually, I should have looked first. Yeah, it should, should still work. Oh. Try that again. 
I got this a few tries. If it doesn't work, I'll just take the rib out I can back and forget about it. So. There we are, we got that one. I can't save while I'm on the ropes because you fall down. Alright, we got it. But, uh, and then there's this. Rope that was already here. So here we have a plaque. It says, Warning, you are now 130 meters above ground level. Proceeding higher may crash your game. Save now or go back. To proceed further, zoom your lens fully to gun sight telescope view. This is usually the bracket key. When climbing above the ledge, stay on the climbing pole and view from there. Store all, ar store all arrows. Selecting or drawing arrows will unzoom the screen and this will cause a screen complexity crash above the ledge. If you forget to zoom, or if you jump from the pole to view from the ledge, you will almost certainly crash the game or fall a very long way. Good luck and enjoy the view. Now, because this uh, mission is predates New Dark, I don't believe the same rendering restrictions apply to New Dark, so I think I can safely view everything without a risk of crashing. So yeah, these poles give you this uh, ability to view the whole map. Now, if you do zoom in, I guess this it's more foggy this time than last time, so you can't see much. But that is a little Easter egg. There's uh, another. The other tower is also, should also be accessible the same way. So a bit of equipment, a place to view the cathedral. If only it wasn't so dark and foggy. Anyway, I completely missed that uh, last time, and I only discovered it when I opened this level up in the editor to look at how the uh, cathedral had been put together and actually how big it was in game units. So I decided this time, since we were back here at the cathedral, I'd give it a go and see if I could uh, still access the area. And I can, so I'm glad. I won't go up the other tower, though, it's just uh, it's not necessary at this point. Alright, can I get back down? I won't save. Because bad things are going to happen. Alright, I'm just going to grab this arrow. Make sure I've still got it. And let the other ones. Oops, the other one's going to stay. Alright. Um, is there anything out here other than the outside of the tower? I think so. This is going to be possibly a guard running around. I don't know. Let's go downstairs. There may, of course, not be any loot worth gathering. Worth gathering in this whole place, except in those two uh, chapels. To see. It is a big place. And there's definitely more of the mission. Well, I guess most of the mission happens. Most of the mission will take place. Uh, most of the follow-up mission will take place in the next level, because you can't fit this cathedral or anything this size in one level along with city streets. There's just uh, no way the engine would be up for it. Certainly not pre New Dark days. Lightning. That's right, there's ledges and roofs. Let's check. Come on, Garrett. You won't die from this poison that quickly. Let's see if there's anything up here. Well, this time we might be able to do our high jump from the top of the place into the river. You never know. There's no ice to land on. Oh, this ledge is long. 
Why am I exploring for loot? That's not the way I play these missions when I'm streaming. I usually just try and do the objectives. But it's mostly curiosity about what's changed. I really should not have bothered with these ledges though. On the other hand, there is something here, so you know, the game is telling me maybe I should have bothered with them. It's a moss arrow. How exciting. I'll go back inside at the other end of this ledge and then I'll stop the silly ledge climbing. I do want to go down to the ground floor and check the uh, altars and stuff for loot. Then I'll go up back to Karis's lab. To the chapel there where the sermon was happening and steal the candlesticks off the altar. Then I'll go down to Cabadores. I'll try and do it from the ground floor though, possibly. If I do it from the ground floor I should have a chance to follow Lady Alicia out of the cathedral. Ah, I can do it from Capitol's lab height from the, from the upper floor. It should be alright. It's easy enough to drop down. Drop down. Quickly grab the loot. I don't need to read the book again. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, I don't mind if I go back up here. Should get me somewhere handy. Which side are we on? Oh, careful now. Uh, we're on the south side. Capitol's lab side. Not the side I want to be on first. Oh, hang on. I haven't been here before, and there's more healing potions. There's too many ledges accessible from different places here. I'm getting lost and confused, but. Uh, it's just Capitol's lab side, right? Oh, this is the other, this is, it is the Capitol's lab side, but it's not Capitol's lab. Alright, let's go down to the ground floor using this lift. Uh, I'm pretty sure I opened the doors, yeah, so I opened the doors for Karis' lab, so I can come back up on the north side. Cool. Definitely fewer uh, nasty people around. Right, so there's the various. Oh, come on, carry There's various people's offices as well that I haven't been to. Right, is this the front door or is this this back door? the back door. Oh no, this is the south transept. Okay. Side door if you like. Okay, somebody. More importantly, I see loot. What follows is the courageous sermon. Oh, nice sermon. Except that I'm carrying a certain doll named Judy, one of those feral kids that you hammerites missed. Um. Yeah, is that their fault, Garrett? That's the same sermon that we saw before. All right, so those don't look like valuable. They don't look like valuable candlesticks to me. 
There is something else on the altar there. Hello? Show thyself. No. Oh, what? Don't kill anyone, I knocked him out. How did that kill anyone? Did that really kill him? Alright, I'm gonna just run for it to see what that stuff is then. <coughs> Don't mind me, fellas. You shalt not rob from the house of the builder. Thinkest thou to make mock of me? Yes. An intruder! Intruder! Boldly upon him! Whoa! What are you throwing at me? Alright, I've lost him. I can't get to the catacombs this time. Okay, that's fine. I got the loot I wanted off the altar. It's not very valuable. But it was something. Uh, which side are we on? South side. I don't want to go too near that door then. Oh shit. Let's assume I can... I won't trigger it if I don't go in. Novices and visitors, I am in conference with a person of high state this evening. If you wish to stay within these walls, do not enter to trespass upon our private conversation. When we are done, the lady will depart these grounds immediately and I will meet you thereafter, if you wish. Brother Cavador. Uh, so apparently knocking people out here is killing them. See if there's any valuables in these offices. Why do you know? Vicar Philuxus, it is the opinion of this legal office that you have a reasonable claim against those who performed shoddy workmanship on your inner gate timing mechanism. Therefore, I agree to seek compensation from those who have injured your reputation for fine craftsmanship and a sum of gold for the young widows created as a consequence of the mechanism failure. Since I may need to make periodic visits to your facility, I request a reliable contact in town of someone able to escort me into the cathedral when required. Regards, A.H. Franticius, Esquire. Novices and visitors, uh, Cavador's same notice again. Oh, Pollux. Looks like Lady Alicia is still alive. No, I don't want to go there. I didn't realize that was the back door of the chapel. Not going there yet. Sorry. All right, let's just go grab that loot again and stay away from that second door, because yeah, I thought that was Cavador's room rather than the chapel. Apologies. It's not often that I will, uh, you know, reload just to avoid the next objective, but. Um, there's a little more to do in this cathedral than... Oh, wait. Where am I going? This way. Right, so that was the south transept. Let's go back to the north transept. Right, quickest way across is this way, isn't it? Outside. In fact, that's why I went outside before. Wait, is this which way is this? What's this notice? In progress, novice orientation meeting. Do not disturb. Oh shit, that's noisy. Must be a little quieter. Well, there's a note in the waste bin there. What does it say? 
To all citizens in good standing, it is required of thee to deliver unto representatives of the king all feral children discovered roaming the streets. Any citizen found to harbour such children not of their own making will likewise be del delivered up to judgment. So ordered by Pavel of Storm, Viceroy to Forsythius the Just. We've read that before in a previous mission, but now we see the hammers got the message and threw it in the bin. Rosary bead, plate, healing potion. Available projects for new novices. Cleanse the ancient statues. Count the shards of glass required to form each stained glass window and record this in the sacred annals. Remove rust from the ancient altars and apply oil to prevent further rotting due to summertime moisture. Record an oral history as remembered by the high priest. Catalogue the contents of the catacombs. Determine the number of steps needed to transform balcony access ramps into proper stairways. <laughs> nice. I like that last one. Yeah, the meeting is still going on there. Right, I'm going to go down to the ground floor now. To see if I can steal any valuables from the altars in this transept. Uh, did I actually get the ones in the south transept? I can't recall. But I think the way down, quickest way down is over here, right? That's way up. Hang on. So I came in, that goes up to somewhere. Here we are down. Yeah, turning these ramps into stairways would require a lot of step. Wait, wait, wait. Are you friendly? You shouldn't be friendly. I've got nowhere to hide. Hopefully you won't see me here, right? I think knocking him out is going to be a problem. I'll try again, right? Does that fail anything? No, he's not dead. Maybe it was the civilian guy I knocked out that was the problem. Maybe he only had one hit point and so hitting him on the head. Blackjack typically does one damage, so hitting him on the head might have uh, killed him, unfortunately. Wait, I thought there was an altar in this transept. Where is the altar I was thinking of then? It's the other transept door. Ah, oh, here we are. These altars. I can't remember if I got the ones from this other side. Hello, these people have gone elsewhere. Yeah, I did get them. No, he hasn't gone very far elsewhere. I heard his footsteps there. Alright. Up to... Kagum's... Where's north? We're on the north side. Right, we're gonna go up to... Karish's lab. We're gonna oversee... Overlook the uh, initiates, the novices meeting again. From up above, then we'll drop down, take the loot. Oh, I didn't open that. Damn, where's the lift? I can't remember where the lift is. leave you in plain view anyway, just in case. Maybe the lift is up here? Yeah, the lift is up here, okay. <coughs> I think I opened the door, so this should give me access to Karis's lab. And that's access to the passage above that chapel. So I'll do that one. I'll, st I'll steal its loot. And then go thence to Cavador's chapel. 
overhear the conversation with Lady Alicia again, and we should be good to make our way out, according to the actual objectives, and do what the mission is asking of us. There might... <clears throat> might, uh, be easier to make my way out by one of the transit doors, and along the outside and catch it going out the front gate that way rather than anything else. Alright. Save. Here's the novices. Okay, guys. The builder's truth it is. Yep, that yep, yep. Men without belief do soften and fail. Should I just rotten wood? Annoy them all here. The builder places thy challenges before thee as a stairway of hewn stone up the tower of thy life. When thou seekest to add to those, stop! 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 Where's the, uh... <laughs> oh, I thought that was open. Oops. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, you will if you catch me, that's for sure. One seems to be still on my tail. That's my. F oh god, he's one of the problematic ones. Did I escape them all? Don't know, I don't remember. I'm lost again. Well, that was less successful than I planned. I think I, I got the loot, right? I got all the loot. So, I can do my plan A. Oh, wait, I haven't got to access to Capitol's place from here. And there's no way I can reach that. Oops. Oh, dear. Maybe we can get out by the ledge. Does this ledge connect anywhere or is, I can't remember. It's only connects to the roof, isn't it? No, it does not. Or is there a pipe to climb up? There's no pipe to climb up. Whoops, I said I wasn't going to do any more ledge climbing and I'm doing it. I wasn't really planning ahead when I made that wild leap into the chapel. I was just like, oh, this will be fun. Alright, so this is a waste of time. Well, I've got a healing potion. Not entirely a waste of time, but mostly a waste of time. Uh, Alright, let's get back down. I need to get back around the north transept again. But since there's lots of people there waiting for me, I guess I need to go around the east side. We go back to the north tower, or well, the south tower rather, since I'm on the south side.
Wait, this is that's the let's see the chapel with uh, Lady Alicia in it. I don't want to go there. But wait, this is a dead end. Uh, it's the west side I need to go to. Okay, yeah, west. West will take me around the front of the cathedral. And at least from the north, the south tower, I can get around to the wooden place again and get back down to Kasha's lab. Oh, wait. Oh, that's just where I came from. Alright, just down. This way? Maybe this way. Yeah, this way. Okay. Yeah, that I keep getting lost in here. You thought you'd have thought with all the running around in this uh, cathedral I did before that I'd find it hard to get lost, but apparently not. Oh, I can just go across, and take the shortcut again. I don't need to go through the towers. Cash's lab is accessible to me. <laughs> So I definitely want to be up on the upper floor uh, of the other chapel, because otherwise there's not really anywhere proper, proper to hide. Don't mind me, sir, just carry on your business. Here we are, this is the way up. Take the lift. Good thing he didn't come up here and see his friend unconscious. Looks a bit jaundiced, to be honest. Ah, up we go. Alright. They won't find us here. across to the other lift. So let us get down. We'll probably around through the choir or the choir attic. And from the choir attic we have access to Gavador's lab and the other chapel there. And uh, then we can listen to uh, Lady Alicia's conversation again, grab the loot and follow her out of the cathedral. If necessary, I can try a slow fall potion, jump off the edge and go around the outside, it's probably less guarded. Still super impressed with the construction of this cathedral and the size. It's a pretty amazing piece of work for the Dark Engine. Even if it's a little uh, confusing and sometimes somewhat repetitive to play, it's still still a pretty amazing piece of work. Actually, I shouldn't have done that yet. Oh, it doesn't matter. This takes me to lab. I have to go back down. to go back down anyway to uh, overhear the chapel conversation. So let's just double check. I can't remember, was there any loot in here? It was, so let's check it. An healing potion and that which I've read. Hmm. Looks like Lady Alicia is still alive. I wonder if that has something to do with finding the antidote. Uh, this left. Means I didn't go around that ledge, which means I didn't. Yeah, yeah, come on. There's a gas arrow, it probably isn't there. There are gas arrows. I bet the equipment doesn't stay for the next mission, but I'm gonna take it. I don't. Wait, gas arrows, which I probably won't get a chance to use. But I want it, it's loot. Who cares about my promise not to do ledge climbing? It was already thoroughly broken. I'm not doing any more. That's it. No more ledge climbing unless, I'm, unless it's to jump off. Uh, 
Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to open this first. Just oh, where's the switch? It's here. Cool. That way I've got that as an access route if I need it. I don't think I will, but just in case. Alright, just another hard save, just in case anything else happens, because we know this is going to trigger something. Looks like Lady Alicia really is alive. Better not let her see me now, or I'll have a lot of explaining to do. Although we agreed to send this marvelous device with you, Lady Alicia, you must understand that my master is quite displeased, for he wishes to discuss a proposal with Mr. Garrett. Yet Garrett continues to refuse our invitations. Yeah, so I do understand your master's anxieties with Brother Cavador. But you must consider how Garrett has become quite depressed in recent days. So it is my hope that this new eye will improve his mood every bit as much as it improves his vision. Then the scroll I have given you must serve as my personal message. You are most kind, dear Cavador. Alright. Ah, so this is the night Alicia picked up my new eye. Hmm. I wonder if Counselor Frantitius is working late tonight. Because if he's no longer alive to poison me, yes, that should do the trick. Where did she go? All right, following her. Strange. Saw something there for a moment. No, you didn't. Did it look a bit like Carol the Master Thief? Oh, who's that running? That's unusual. Oh god, he's looking for me, isn't he? For some reason. Going to the <coughs> She's gone to the altar. Why is why has she gone to the altar? That's not the way out. Okay, I can't see her from there. Where did she go? Right, she's going out. Right, I'm gonna go around this side. Whoops. Hopefully. Let's try the outside as I suggested. I've got to save, I can hopefully catch her going out the front door. Be fewer guards, I hope. If nothing else, I can actually go on the walls. As long as I can see. Oh wow! A ladder leading right into the river. I wonder if that was there last time. It's pretty bright here, though. If, uh, I could be seen. Spotted, I don't really want to be spotted. <laughs> After all, it's my object objective not to be spotted by her. But at this distance, I should be fine. There's no guards anyway. Oh, wait, is that is that Lady Alicia? No. That's a random passerby. There's a guard. Don't tell me she's taking some other route now, and I actually have to follow her. That that would suck. <coughs> oh no, here she comes. Good. That should uh, allow me to complete the mission successfully. Hmm. Strange. I thought I saw something. A bit like Garrett standing on top of the wall. Let's try to open the, the gate. open the gate for him. Mm. 
All right. That is the other side of time. We missed half the loot. Well, not quite half the loot, but most of it, almost half of it. And uh, it took us 39 minutes, not counting the big rewind I did when I discovered there was a timed objective. Okay, uh, that has been an hour and five minutes, so I'm going to end the episode here, and I will see you here for the next episode.